Thousands of diseases don't have effective treatments or cures, and many promising discoveries are never shared or moved into treatments. The system is failing us. Almost exactly 30 years ago when I was diagnosed with MS, um, they said, well, maybe there'll be a cure in 30 to 50 years. And if someone's diagnosed now in, in 2006, they probably hear the same thing. And that's pretty frustrating. One thing that's common to everyone who has MS is they have damage to the myelin. And so if you could repair that myelin, it's far better than any alternative that's currently uh, there or on the, on the horizon. From the entrepreneurial Silicon Valley comes the Myelin Repair Foundation, MRF, pioneering a new model for scientific research. When I had the original idea and, and originally started doing this, I had no thought about something larger. I mean, I was just thinking about how do we repair myelin. And developing the model was simply, what's the most effective way to do that? We selected the best possible people to do the work. We put together a plan of action, both a strategic plan and a research plan. We provide the funds to the team to, to work. We uh, provide a, an environment for them to function at their best. And we facilitate that, we facilitate great science. There is a certain amount of competition that goes on in science. That everyone is sort of working uh, to discover things that they can take credit for. So there's a good side of that, you know, the incentive of, you know, establishing yourself as a successful scientist and making discoveries. But the flip side is that it means that scientists don't work together in teams as much as they should. They sit on important discoveries for years prior to publishing them because they don't want their competitors to find out uh, and scoop them. What happened was that Scott started brainstorming with scientists and, you know, he started developing ideas for how you could put together a team where you could have, you know, five or six different members, each with an interest and an expertise in myelination. Anyone who learns about the model sees how simple and straightforward and that it clearly should have a great impact. It's just drawing great people to help us and we're far ahead of schedule. Uh, things have worked smoother and faster than we even hoped. We've identified a new drug target that promotes the formation, the rapid formation of myelination. And that's what happens in our culture dish. And so it's interesting that we identified then this enzyme that when we block it, we can now trigger rapid myelination. And this has allowed us, uh, one, to start to actually study the molecular basis of myelination, to time lapse it so we can actually watch the sequential events that occur when myelination happens. And then we've been collaborating with our team members to understand the potential of this to develop it into a new drug. To us, it's a very, one example of a very promising line that's happened because of the group working together. Over a five-year time period, this group is going to make um, collaborative discoveries that, that um, we never would have done without this foundation. The individuals we've gotten donations from are very involved. I mean, once they make a donation, it's not like they just walk away, and not in terms of being involved in terms of looking over our shoulder, but instead being active about helping to connect us to others, which I think is, is really key. Founder of Intuit Corporation, Scott Cook, discusses why he donated nearly $3 million to MRF for its $25 million campaign. What Myelin Repair is doing is changing the process by which scientific research is done in medicine to a process that is much faster and focused on producing the treatment, the cure, through open collaboration. This will change the world. This will solve not just one disease condition, but dozens and hundreds. I've spent time talking with the science, and I can tell you, you can see it in their eyes. That science is happening far faster. They can feel it every day of their work. Stuff that used to take a year or two now happens in months. Stuff that would take them months now happens in days. They can feel this neck snapping of acceleration. We're quicker to patents than anyone expected. We're quicker, quicker to actually have the first compound ready to go into development than any of the scientists expected. That's the proof to me that this is working. I, I certainly 
feel honored to be participating in the Myelin Repair Foundation um, effort because I hope that it will serve as a model for how other teams can get together and focus on other types of diseases. I think if you talk to almost anyone involved with Myelin Repair, whether it's on the science side or on the staff or volunteers or supporters, all of them feel like this is, you know, we're on a mission that this can have a major impact. To me, one of the most amazing things to feel that I have a hand in helping make happen is to take thousands or tens of thousands of the most brilliant minds on the planet, to reposition them into a process that frees their minds, to move as rapidly as they can. It energizes and provides the tools they need and the insights and collaboration and triple their productivity. What's that going to mean for all of our lives in five years, 10 years, 20 years? I just can't wait to see.